Okay. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm Abby. Um, I guess you're here to learn about Pierre Giorgio Frassati. Well, you came to the right place. Okay, starting with the basics. His mom was Adelaide Frassati, his dad was Alfredo Frassati, and his sister was Luciana Frassati. Um, he was born and turned in Italy April 6th, 1901. So his mom served as a painter, while his dad was very strictly enforced in politics, and he was actually an Italian ambassador for the German nation. Growing up, Pierre always had the kindness in his heart to care for and give all he had to others, but his parents did not fully support him. His family support him. Coming from an agnostic family, his family didn't always support his decisions of putting others before himself. This means that they do not believe in any fact said about God or their whole existence is true. They believe that there is not a way to prove something is that big of nature. So, when his parents found out that he was constantly giving things away that he had worked so hard for, they got kind of mad and they would constantly ground him and honestly they would get really mad and yell at him but he didn't see anything wrong with it because he was just giving what he could he was being kind and he was giving out of the graciousness of his heart in lesson four of our book you can base all of Pierre's works of his preferential options for the poor as well as a rounded christian he followed his duties in stepping into the care for the poor helped them obtain basic necessities and helped him to be one with society in what ways did he have to support them? 17, Pierre joined the St. Vincent de Paul Society and dedicated all of his extra time in order to get to the poor and take care of the sick and homeless. What significant ways did Pierre give his life to his poor? Starting off, what ways did he give his life for the poor? So growing up, Pierre didn't really have that much. So when he got new things, he would literally take the shoes off of his feet to give to the poor, which his mother did not support of. And one interesting story was that when his sister gave him money, she specifically told him to spend it on himself and not others because he didn't think like spending money for pleasure was a good idea, nor did he want to. So he took the money and he gave it to separate charities, like I think three, but he put them under his sister's name so technically he did not spend the money. He did find a loophole, but you could say he was just very kind and giving. Oh, hey, um, in what ways did he help others around him grow in their faith? Why do you ask? Well, since he was so young and so were all his friends, in order to draw their attention to this important topic, he would plan fun ways for them to actually comprehend it. He would plan hiking trips with his friends, which served as a faith retreat, and they would go converse in prayer, scripture, and conversations, where they were in their faith. Pierre's motto was Versa L'Alto, which means to the heights. And he took this literally by climbing mountains in order to get closer to God, like literally closer to God in any way that he could, spiritually and physically. Sadly, on July 4th, 1925, Pierre Giorgio died from polio at the young age of 24. And it was said that he had contracted this disease by working in such dirty areas of the city. Along with being remembered for his great acts of kindness, he was also remembered for his joyous personality, selflessness, and his extreme athleticism. Pierre is now the patron of the youth and young adults, which is very much fitting. He always lived his life. On May 20, 1990, in St. Peter's Basilica, uh, John Paul II declared Pierre Giorgio as Blessed Pierre Giorgio. And actually in attendance was his little sister, Luciana. And she actually brought all of her kids with her in order to see this um, great, this great achievement that her brother had accomplished. His most famous quote is, God gives us healthy so that we may serve the sin. This quote shows that Pierre saw how good of a life he had compared to others and was willing to give back to those who did not have anything. This shows how truly of a compassionate and caring person he was. Bye, I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot about Pierre Giorgio Frassati and his life. Because honestly to me, it's pretty cool. Um, anyways, peace.